Hello everyone, Father Bob Gross, and I want to uh, want to share this. Can you share this? Uh, yeah, I know what to do now. Hi everybody. Ah, oh, now I remember. What's going on? There I am. Okay, now share this with a page. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, great. Uh, so I have uh, started our live stream, and um, I put it on my page, and I put it on the CFOS page. So we should be good on that. Good morning, everyone. Please join us for Mass and for uh, um, we are going to begin here in a few moments. Um, you can see today... I just want to show you, with, we're just learning so much about Facebook. Uh, as you can see, the camera lens is actually a little bit wider now. Uh, the old, the previous one was kind of tighter, so um, that's kind of why that's happening, okay? Um, okay, well, we're going to have to probably do uh, maybe a tutorial on the other page. So um, maybe that'll be part of my update later today. So it is 1130. We will begin um, exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, and we will have the rosary today. So please uh, join me. We'll get some of the, the things up here. Okay. Okay, we're going to do it in Latin today. Please see in the new, in the comments section, um, here is the song. Remember, it's uh, right here is where your comments are. So look at that. We're going to do that. And I'll put the readings up when we need to. Hello, Father Brad. It's really good to see you. Uh, you guys are doing wonderful work at the cathedral in Sioux City. So impressive. So um, um, so we're going to start uh, exposition, and uh, please join us. And if you are able, please kneel, and we'll have exposition now. O salutare sostia, que celi patis ostio, bella prenotostilia, da rober feraxilium, unitrioque domino, sits at eterna gloria, qui vitam sine termino, nobis donet in patria.
Please join us for the luminous mysteries of the rosary as we've been doing every day. Please put up your prayer intentions and they will all be remembered at um, during the rosary today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The luminous mysteries of the rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting, amen. For the increase of the divine virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Father Pope Francis, for Archbishop Jacobs and all priests, for all deacons and their wives, for all those who serve the church in lay ecclesial ministry, for all healthcare professionals, for the sick, for the scared, for our personal families, for all those who have the coronavirus, and for the eradication of the coronavirus from the face of the earth. And please put on your um, intentions, and we will pray for all of those. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. After Jesus was baptized, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens saying, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The fruit of this mystery is openness to the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding miracle at the wedding feast of Cana. Jesus' mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water, so they filled them to the brim. The fruit of this mystery is to Jesus through Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God and the call to repentance. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, Cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. The fruit of this mystery 
It's repentance and trust in God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration. While Jesus was praying, his face changed in appearance, and his clothing became dazzling white. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son, listen to him. The fruit of this mystery is desire for holiness. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. Then Jesus took the bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which will be given for you. And likewise, the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. The fruit of this mystery is adoration of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, 
Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I invite everyone to have a brief moment of silence before the Blessed Sacrament. I'm going to get the prayers up for benediction. There is there is the tantum ergo. Here are the divine praises. If you are able, please kneel for benediction. We'll have benediction now as we're preparing for mass. Antum ergo sacramentum, venere non cenuli, ad articum documentum, no voce not rituli, preste fide supplementum, Sensum de fatui, genitori, genitorque, lausat jubilatio, salus honor virtus quoque, sigat benedictio, Procedenti abertur quae, comparsit laudatio. Amen. You have given them breath from heaven, adding within it all sweetness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us the Eucharist, as the memorial of your suffering and death, may our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please say with me the divine praises. We pray together. Blessed be God, 
Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me for the rosary and adoration. We'll now get things ready for Holy Mass. I've been working on the lighting and I think it's gonna be a lot better today. Thanks to Patty Frana. I love the love the hearts. Let's see if this one works. No. Okay. Well, we'll get a couple things ready for mass. Here are today's readings. I'm going to put those up. Here are the readings, if you're looking for those. Um, we'll start with those. I'll put up the, the act of spiritual communion a little bit later. Um, yeah. I'm going to get the candles lit, put my vestment on, and um, we'll go from there, okay? I want to ask, can you see me better? We have more lighting by the altar. Uh, hit a like, hit the like button if you can see me better. Can you see me a little bit better? Hit the like button. Oh, great. Awesome. Great. I'm going to get my vestment on and we'll begin Mass, okay? Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. 
Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie Let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely, sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now as we listen to the Word of God. I put up the readings from usccd.org. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molded calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord as God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with such a strong hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down, relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make of your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullet. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had gone, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham. 
terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true, but there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish these works that I perform testify in my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father, the one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. If you had believed Moses, you would have believed me because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I had a wonderful memory about my dad. My dad was an insurance salesman. He served the working poor of Racine through his insurance agency. And he would go on his calls and make appointments with people in order for them to sell insurance. And there was one characteristic that always happened with my dad. My dad would lose track of time and then he would pack up his briefcase and he would run out the door to make an appointment that he had. And then about five minutes later, the car would come back, the car would be running, he'd run into the house and he'd forget something. Or he would grab something that he forgot. And then he would run back out the door and get in the car and get to the appointment. I've inherited that trait from my dad. It is without fail that when I leave the house, when I leave the office, there's always one thing that I forget. And I'm running and scrambling back it gets me out of sorts, gets me anxious sometimes. I mention that because memory is very important in the spiritual life. And we see it so clearly today in the psalm that we sang, that they forgot the works of the Lord. The people of Israel forget. Think about today's first reading from Exodus. They saw Moses with the 10 plagues, 
they saw the parting of the Red Sea, they saw the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire, and they get to Mount Horeb, and because they have to wait a little bit longer than they thought they would, they turn and they turn to a molded golden calf. How can you forget that? How can you forget seeing all those wonderful miracles that was wrought through the hands of Moses, the servant of the Lord? Well, guess what? We do the same thing. We forget all the time. And actually, today, in our crisis of this pandemic, we forget our own history. In 1918, when the Spanish flu at a epidemic, went through the whole world, the pandemic, we were going through the same thing. And those people in 1918 forgot what happened before them. We as human beings forget so often. That's why Jesus gives us the gift of ritual. And that's what I'll briefly talk about today, the gift of ritual. What did Jesus say on the last night that he was alive on earth at the Last Supper? Do this in memory of me. Do what in memory of him? Bread, wine, his words, our thanksgiving to the Father, and that allows us to never forget what Jesus did. It never allows us to forget, do this in memory of me. And how often we forget. There's a lot of people who are very good people, who may have been brought up Catholic, who may have been taught Christian values. I heard it yesterday. I was watching a video of Don McLean, who wrote American Pie and the, Star, the Starry Starry Night Vincent. He was raised as a Catholic, and you could hear the Catholic language coming out of his mouth, but it looks like he's forgotten it at one level. Right? If we don't continually do the same thing over and over again and truly believe that it is the source of all meaning in our lives, then we're going to forget. That's why I'm so happy so many of you are joining me today for Holy Mass. This is my body given up for you. This is my blood poured out for you. Do this in memory of me. Do not, forget, do not forget the works of the Lord. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. That insistent plea that we always remember. Remember the works of the Lord. Even Moses had to remind the Lord, remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Lord. Memory, remembering that which is most important. So I pray this remembrance of the Lord and that memory, it's not just going back into time, but the beautiful thing about the Holy Spirit is that the memory of the Lord makes the Lord present. The Holy Spirit makes that event present again. We're going to go to that moment in the history of the world where Jesus laid down his life for us. And that's what strengthens us to lay down our lives for one another. As Forrest Gump would say, that's all I have to say about that. Now let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. Pray for the Holy Church of God throughout the world, for the Holy Father, for Francis, for Archbishop Jacobs, for all priests and deacons. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that the scourge of the coronavirus may be eradicated from this earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national leaders, especially the President and the members of Congress, may they come together in order to offer a law and a bill that will help regular citizens we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray for health care professionals, doctors and nurses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have been infected by the coronavirus, I'd like to pray for my niece, 
Allie, and my sister-in-law, Paula. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And at this time, I invite you to type in your personal intentions that will be remembered when we offer the Eucharist this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the faithful departed. We'd like to remember Alberta Hinker, Melvin Helen, and Rod Hageman. I was asked to pray specifically for Dr. Ignatius Green, who was a longtime doctor in the Austin community, who died in the last week, and for the repose of his soul and for all the dead. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, please listen to our prayers. Answer them according to your will. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as we prepare the altar for the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So let's see your intentions. Okay, keep on putting those intentions and we will remember those. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. If you are able, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, let us rise and stand as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace by hitting the like or the love sign on your live feed. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I will place my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Here's a slightly different prayer for spiritual communion. We'll do this one together. Please pray with me. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have been al- as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let's have some silence and pray as we spiritually commune with our Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, Prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for Holy Mass today. We're going to have an update later today. Uh, We had a very good meeting as a staff, and we have some things we want to tell you about later today. Today is Thursday, and during this time of uh, self-isolation and quarantine, uh, the Archbishop is leading the Rosary at 2 p.m. on the live stream, and I'm going to put that link up in our uh, in the chat so people can um, get that. So here we go. Uh, I am going to put this link here. Here's the link for the Archbishop's um, live stream events. You can pick uh, the rosary. And then uh, a couple of other things. Uh, We will be praying the Stations of the Cross tomorrow at 3 p.m. in addition to our normal rosary 
and um, a mass that we will have. So just um, um, there's that. So look, uh, um, look for that, okay? Uh, and thank you for all those comments. It, it, I really wish I could see you. I want to show you one more time. Just take a look. This is pretty cool what uh, they did. So there's my congregation. So if anyone wants to put their picture up in the church here and make a visit, uh, you're more than welcome to. So uh, may God bless you and hope you have a good day. All right. And uh, this is always recorded. And I'll put it on YouTube as well. Bye-bye. God bless.